So uh, in, in the mid-1920s, right. he discovers that the spiral fuzzy things in the night sky, spiral nebulae, were whole other galaxies, like the Milky Way. This is freaky. Was there speculation as to what it was before he... Just, just, just spiral clouds. Yeah. There were other fuzzy clouds that weren't spiral. So they were like... But there were telescopes that existed before his. No, but, but you have not, to know the, the distance the to things. Right. You, you can't just pace it out by walking it. <laughs> All right? If you find the distance to a spiral nebula and it's 100 times farther away than other nebulae, then it's sitting outside of your galaxy. Right. All right? And so... Uh, that he discovered that in mid-decade, and then by the end of the decade, he discovers the expanding universe. Mm. That dec that 1920s, yeah, the roaring 20s, yeah, right before the market crashed right. in October 1929. And then, you know, people weren't so focused on science, <laughs> unfortunately. It's like the science of eating <laughs> and having food on your plate. When you run the equations back, you generate this entity that pumps out universes possibly an infinite number of universes. It just pumps them out. And we call that the multiverse, a term that's just been uptook by, by Marvel, by Marvel comic comic comics. And, and, so. <laughs> and, uh, and not only Marvel, but of course, uh, Rick and Morty. Right. With all of these brilliant minds out there over the years, why haven't what do you what is your theory as to what's keeping us from knowing what existed before the Big Bang? We've been figuring out other things like the origin of the earth and the origin of the moon and the origin of stars and the origin of, and now we're on the origin of galaxies. So the origin of the, give us a chance here.